the mic isn't really in the, it's not like the cable's going into the shot. Excitement. Hi, this is Dan McCallum with Comics on Comics. I'm standing next to Susie. We are here at the big relaunch premiere of the 1966 Batman movie, just to show you we're a little behind the times in Seattle, but we are finally getting to see it. Uh, Susie, who sent you down here? Who are you working for? I'm with Getty Images. Who's, now, who are they? Um, they're like a um, stock image uh, website. Sock image website? Stock. Oh, stock image. Okay, so any film outfit that needs you know some generic footage, they, they call you. All right, so now are you here just to get free tickets to the Batman movie? I'm here just to take photos. I'm not even staying for the movie, unfortunately. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Are you are you going to uh, film any, take any of the pictures of the uh, display case and whatnot? Oh, yeah. Okay. So now, uh, stock footage, do you video as well as uh, photography? Uh, just photos. Just photos? Oh, okay. I'll let that... Uh, go again with the bus. So, uh, do you do uh, photos, video, or just photography? Uh, just photography. All right, now who are you again so you can get a plug from our dozens of subscribers? I'm Susie Pratt with Getty Images. And do you have a dot com? Uh, Susie dash Pratt dot com. Oh, I have a damn account dot com, but I'm usually just begging for money there. <laughs> All right. Continuing my interview with Susie because, well, she's gorgeous and my height. Uh, Susie, are you going to be attending the Comic-Con tomorrow? I will, yes. Now, oh. I'll be there all weekend. <laughs> and now, are you there in the official capacity? I am there in the official capacity, but I will be enjoying myself. You're, you're not going to be using your press pass for actually attending the con, going to any of the uh, uh, exhibits and the uh, uh, panels? It's a very fortunate coincidence that I get to. <laughs> Oh, well, three blocks away, Adam West is coming to be ambushed by a bunch of hungry news hounds, so I'm going to go over here where he's supposed to be showing up. Personally, I think he's going to go to the parking garage and dodge this whole thing. <laughs> Worst Batmobile ever. He got the color right, though. That's good. Can you imagine if he'd shown up in a big tan limousine? The police are rushing out of the vehicle. Clearly, Adam's been telling to tales about the old times. I'm just laughing because the cop was laughing at that. It's like, really? I guess he was. <laughs> Spot? Hello? <laughs> Good. Blessed despite some challenges. You look very well, sir. Mr. West, a pleasure. Dan McCown, good to meet you, sir. Uh, blessed despite some challenges. You were an inspiration to me, which is partly how I got in this wheelchair. You left out the... Hopefully not. Uh, he was driving. But I have a question on a similar line. Uh, as a former actor myself, uh, you know it's a common practice that when a series ends that a lot of props are abscounded with. Now recently the Batmobile just sold for four and a half million dollars. Are you kicking yourself for not stealing the Batmobile when you had the chance? You know, not really because I drove it so much and so long it just became I'd rather have my Porsche. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Did we get that with the truck or the bus? Superman, Superman started the trend. Uh, unfortunately, he was dyslexic as a child, which is why you wear. Did you plate 
it's great. We That's played it. very well <laughs> for teenagers and college kids. You know, they used to fight in the dorms on Tuesday and Thursday nights for a seat. Yeah, and you know, it's we're sold out here tonight. The, your entire Comic Con is sold out. When we appeared, the last appearance in New York at the New York Comic Con, it sold out three weeks in advance. And there's just a really lot of Batman fans. And also, Warner Brothers has come out with a whole 1966 merchandise. In other words, n it's not just the Batman, current Batman merchandise, it's merchandise based on our Batmobile and our Batcave. And there's going to be a um, series of one-armed bandits is going to be an Adam West Batman and a Burt Ward Robin where you pull the slot machine and we fight heinous That's villains. Great. Yeah, it's cool. All right? So what are the most common holy Batman uh, uh, ones that you remember? Wh and which ones are your favorite? I did, uh, I think it was 378. Yeah? Yeah, some of them were fun and some were kind of corny like, holy strawberries, Batman, are we in a jam? <laughs> yeah, just a couple questions. Did you follow the comic book from the 60s or any time after? No, I didn't. Okay. I, I, and, and where I lived, they didn't even sell Batman comic books. I didn't even know about Batman. I knew about Superboy and Superman, but they didn't have Batman where I grew up. But after you were on the series, you must have followed it at least loosely. When I was working on the series, I worked five days a week and made appearances the other two days a week. Okay? And I still work incredibly long hours. I'm very busy getting ready to do a pilot for another series. Okay? Take Sir, care. Thank you. Thank Good you. peripheral hearing. All right, that's it for the stars, and in we go to look at some props. Just wanted to always confirm your sources. Standing here next to some of the iconic costumes of old, uh, courtesy of the Paul Allen family. And uh, all I can say is, boy, has costuming come a long way. All right, let's head in there and see if I can say anything else embarrassing. Thank you.